Hi, I'm Bruce Neal at the Lenaway Historical Museum in Adrian, Michigan. We're here today to talk about the Underground Railroad in Lenaway County that uh, started about 1830 through 1860, provided a method for escaping slaves from the South to escape through Ohio and Michigan and Lenaway County in particular making their way to Canada for freedom. One of the persons who we want to talk about the most is Laura Haviland, who was an early abolitionist and one of the people that helped the slaves make their escape from the South on up through Lenawee County into Canada. And beside me is her picture here as her statue sets in front of the museum this day. She was probably the best known person ever to come from Lenaway County. She was an extremely beloved person, very, very energetic, and was deeply troubled by slavery in her younger years, did everything she could to make it well known, the horrors and how miserable and bad the slaves had it and did what she could and then some to help them escape to their freedom. She was also, oh, had opened the first school in Michigan that would accept blacks as well as whites to go to school together for educational purposes. She was a natural teacher and a love of education for all races. So we're very pleased and proud of her here in Lenaway County. And you can see her in front of the museum in a statue that was made in 1909 and commemorate her and her life. Now, we also have here in the Underground Railroad display a number of items related to the trip that blacks made across Ohio and Michigan to escape and the houses which they hid out in for to hide from slave chasers that even came up into this area to try to find the slaves. You must realize that slaves were property and they cost a lot of money and they were very valuable. So slave owners would do a lot to hire people to go and chase after the slaves and recapture them and pay them a bounty to catch their slaves. So some of that occurred here in Lenaway County and the numerous houses that were used were not well known because if they got too well known, then everybody would know where to find them. So it was strictly word of mouth, but we do have a collection of uh, locations here that you can see and view that show some of the documented locations that we're pretty sure of were houses used in the Underground Railroad. Now, some people think the Underground Railroad was like a subway with tracks. No, there was nothing like that. It was strictly a path or trail that people uh, would be on and uh, slaves would be on through word of mouth and helpful citizens that uh, agreed with their cause and wanted to help them escape to Canada. Canada, they were safe. They could not be taken and catched and caught and sent back to their homelands. Most of the slaves that we found came from northern Kentucky because anything further in the south was too hard for them to get that far across the southern territory. So a good number of them came from uh, estates and plantations into Kentucky and made their way across the Ohio River. Cincinnati was a big point and then on through northern Ohio and into Michigan. Now there were a couple of routes that they could take, one through Lenaway County east, Lenaway County maybe west, maybe Hillsdale or, or Branch County, or maybe Monroe County. But we figure that over the 30 years, 19, 1830 to 1860, maybe 2,000 slaves made their way through Lenaway County and were hidden in uh, houses here in Lenaway County and uh, made their way to Canada in safety. Another route was over on the east end of Lake Erie around uh, Niagara Falls. A lot of them went that way too. So 
We didn't have all of them, but, but we had a significant number here through Michigan. So we have a nice display explaining the Underground Railroad and a number of items, both owned by Laura Haviland and others, and stories here about houses and uh, other things that would be of interest to those wanting to chase the Underground Railroad. Plus, we have a number of books on the subject. So, you're welcome to come to the Lenaway Historical Museum. They're op we're open on Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. both days. And there's no admission charge. So we look forward to seeing you. Thank you very much.